certainly wouldn't have been remembered so long after his death and you know be remembered the way that he is. Um, certainly the philosophy behind the way that he lived his life and his art um, are certainly the things I think that make him relevant now uh, as well as when he was alive. So uh, today we're just going to I'm going to speak a little bit about um, my father's life, his relationship with Bruce, Bruce's art and philosophy. And then our students are going to do a short demonstration to sort of um, further demonstrate uh, the changes in evolution in his art, the physical part of it. Um, and then after we'll have a short question and answer. We'll start. So, anything you'd like to add as well we start talking about? Right. Uh, I'm going to read this. Uh, it was written by John Little um, for a different reason, but uh, I think it's a great overview of your after what we're here for. So, uh, this is written about my father, Taki Kamara, who met Bruce when he came to Seattle in 1959. He was one of Lee's first students in Seattle and became the senior instructor when he opened his first school, the Gen Fan Kung Fu Institute of Seattle. Kamara has also taught. Uh, has the distinction of having been Lee's closest friend and his best man at his wedding. He continued to run the Institute on Lee's behalf after Lee left for California to seek his fame and fortune. Taki also helped demonstrate Lee's art at Ed Parker's Long Beach International Karate Tournament, which is where Lee was discovered by all Hollywood producers. Taki attained the rank of uh, brown belt in judo while in turn during the Second World War before he met his friend and teacher Bruce Lee. Taki Kimura is the senior most of three people ever appointed by Bruce Lee to teach his art of Jun Fan Jeet Kune Do. Kimura has continued to pass on what Lee has entrusted to him teaching Jun Fan Jeet Kune Do to this day. And a half century later, uh, he's highly respected in the martial arts community and is a shining example of Lee's philosophy and art, <laughs> as well as what a master should be. Kimura is one of the finest human beings you will ever meet, and his martial arts skill and knowledge of Lee's art is unparalleled. He was a driving force behind the creation of, Bruce Lee, of the Bruce Lee Foundation and is currently on the board of directors working with the Lee family and many of Lee's original students to promote and perpetuate Lee's art and philosophy to a new generation of people. 